thoughts. So we we'll are welcome you here, and, and I'll be quiet now, and y'all can have the floor when the chairman sends you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, you, you young people like come, come on, and speak. Don't be shy. Like we've never we've never heard anybody up there, have we, Jenny? Yeah. Uh, that's not exactly true. <laughs> come on now. Yeah. <laughs> While Amber's getting that ready, I just want to say thank you to the Collins for raising the safety issue because that's key. And as you'll see in her presentation, that um, we do know there's no swimming down there at Rocky Branch. It is an issue. Name. So She's the point is, there needs to be a beach somewhere. Are you Amber? And, uh, Are you Amber? We'll Right Who's place. speaking? Johanna. 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 We didn't get your name. I'm sorry. Johanna Haby. Johanna Haby. Haby. This, is, Haby. this is Amber Haby. for your heart. Yeah, we've got, and we've got Amber on the... <laughs> Amber, go right ahead. Go ahead. Thank you for coming in. I'm pointing everything. I like it. This is not like the commercial where the guy gets a dog, but the guy doesn't get to play golf on Sunday with the PowerPoint. You look like a deer in the headlights. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Brian likes to talk about himself. <laughs> I watch too much TV. Okay. So, I'm Amber Gearhart, and I'm here to talk about the <coughs> beach for Nana Hill. So, the current situation is that there is no places that we can swim unless we have a boat to go out on the water. Rocky Branch says it's open to the public, but only if you have a boat. You can't even fish or swim there. Rocky Branch is the most popular swimming area in Nantahala. The swimming prohibited signs are ignored, which can cause an inconvenience for boaters trying to get into the water. Swimmers risk getting court fees and citations, possibly a $100 fine plus inquiry. You're not even allowed to picnic at Rocky Branch. There are no <coughs> restrooms at Rocky Branch, which forces people to use the trail beside the lake, which is an environmental hazard because when it rains, all the waste is washed into the lake. In the 2003 Duke Settlement Agreement, which renewed their license to use the lake, Duke Energy agreed to give us one pump and haul type toilet, trash collection, a bank fishing area, and a wildlife viewing platform. All of these things were supposed to be given to us within five years, but it's nine years later and none of these things have been done. Go back, Amber, and be sure to put that last point in there too about additionally. Additionally, Duke agreed to pave the parking area within 15 years after signing. Very all true, by the way. <coughs> Benefits of a public beach on the lake. Lake Nantahala is an underutilized resource, which, if optimized, could give local youth <coughs> a swimming area at the lake, increase recreational opportunities for visitors and Macon County residents, Promote tourism and generate increased revenue through 11% occupancy taxes paid by vacation home renters, property taxes paid by, by vacation home owners, business development, and sales tax. It could also help prevent fatalities from swimmers who have no option but to swim in a non-regulated zone because there's nowhere else to go. This is Lake Santitla in Robbinsville. We don't really need anything fancy at Nantahala, we just need a place to go. This is a great example of what we'd like the beach in Nantahala to be like. As you can see, the restrooms and changing rooms aren't expensive at all, and they would be very easy to manage. And then we can point out to the people that <coughs> Joey and Nantahala are approximately the same size. Yeah. Approximately the same size. Don't think Choi's a big, huge. You know, it's not yeah, a big, huge not. lake. Choi and Nana Haler are pretty much the same. Squire and Squire Miles are pretty much the same thing. <coughs> of course, we would need to put up safety signs to take precautions and make sure that everyone knows that there's no lifeguard on duty and that they can't have alcohol. Now we have three options where this beach could go. Option one would be by the Rocky Branch public access area. Option two would be off Rocky Branch Road. 
And option three is Vine Spring Co. Of course, the beach will be separated from the boat launch, so it will be safe for swimmers and boaters. And we already have where we rope off the area for swimming. And we have where we put the pavilion and the floating dock and the restrooms. It's pretty much all planned out there. And this will be the most beautiful and ideal spot that this beach could be in. Now option two <coughs> requires a land purchase of $45,000. And we have to do the parking and everything else. And this picture was when the light was down, so it will be filled up with water. And our third option is Wine Spring Cove. We know where to rope off for the parking lot and, and the swimming area, but there's no room for a pavilion or the restrooms. This option would also be a safety hazard because it's around a very sharp curve and swimmers would have to cross the road just to get to the beach. We would call this beach the Robbie Newton Memorial Beach because it's something that he always wanted to get done. And it would be a great way to remember him, and it would mean a lot to everyone. <laughs> and that's all I have for you. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. That's very well done. Very very well. Get her in front of the committee. Right. I'm ready. <laughs> do, do we have anybody else that wants to speak? Yeah. Okay. Sure, just come right on up. My name is Dustin Bryant. I'm a resident of Nantahala. So, as you may know, Nantahala is an amazing place to live. It's quiet and relaxing and has a beautiful lake. Unfortunately, people who live in Nantahala year-round cannot swim in the lake because there is no safe swimming area. We are limited by the choices we have, and the choices we do have are dangerous in many ways. The places where we can swim are rocky and have deep holes where kids can drown at any time. The marina has offered a swimming spot for kids, but who wants to swim with boats leaking gas right where you're swimming or next to a gas pump that could explode or leak at any time? There have been many complaints by locals and tourists. Concerned locals suggested, why not fix a clean, safe place for kids to swim so they won't be in danger or have to walk along the bank through sharp rocks and high weeds to find a decent spot to swim? This suggestion is reasonable and understandable. Not only because we need a decent spot to swim, Nantahala Lake is part of our community heritage. Our grandfathers and great-grandfathers helped build the dam. Many Nantahala families gave up their property so the lake could exist. People who live year-round in Nantahala are not wealthy and cannot afford lake houses. However, as a community, we have more emotional and family ties to the lake than anyone else. We love our lake, especially in the summer, and we deserve safe swimming access not just because of our love of the lake, but because it is the right thing to do. Most of the lakes in our surrounding area, including Santitla, Chatug, and Hawassi, have safe swimming access, so why shouldn't we? I know that it can be expensive and a lot of hard work, but if we work together and ask for donations, we'll eventually be successful and open up a public beach access area for the children of the Nantahala community. I am a concerned teenager of Nantahala community, and I, like all the kids in Nantahala, love our lake and would appreciate the opportunity to enjoy as much as others do. Please give our request the utmost consideration. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Brian Gaddy, and I'm currently a sophomore at Nanahela High School. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, Lake Nanahill. So in 2003, an agreement for the following improvements was made between Duke Power and the people of the Nanahill community. Duke Energy had promised that they'd provide the following within five years, which was 2008. A pump and hall style toilet to collect trash from recreational use, provide a fishing area along the bank, and build a wildlife viewing platform. But alas, this promise was broken, along with every heart in the Nantahala community. Due to Duke's failure to keep this promise, I feel that they have a moral and social obligation to build a public beach that has a sandy bottom with a gradual slope, restrooms, and one is roped off and safe. 
As one of the many modern age students growing up in a globally competitive world, with many constants changing all the time, we often get little to no time to relax. But when we do, almost as never, almost never does anybody say, hey, how about we go down to Lake Nantahala for a swim? Youth and adults alike within the community have no access to public beach area. This is simply unacceptable. But luckily, this can be fixed. A public beach access area can solve these problems and create new opportunities for local businesses. Such small operations, such as Lake Sand and Waya Cafe, would highly benefit from the increased traffic flow from tourists. This would also make the lake a prime destination for those looking to experience a getaway with an absolutely gorgeous view. Ideally, funding would be, would be provided by possibly the county and Duke Energy to create a beach type area similar to Lake uh, Santilla's um, previously shown in the PowerPoint. Creating a public beach at Lake Nantahala provide the following positive opportunities for the Nantahala community. It would be a safe and local recreation swimming area uh, for families to relax and swim. It would increase cabin rentals, which would improve local commerce. There would be greater sales of food and beverages at local eateries. Um, it would provide a local summer socialize, uh, social area for the elderly. It would heighten profits for local general stores provide, and uh, provide families for public and private uh, gatherings such as church, pi church picnics and birthday parties. Once Duke Power uh, is aware of our needs, I'm confident they will honor its loyal customers and possibly build an excellent public beach for us with a little help from you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We're sorry, that was rude. Go ahead. <laughs> it really is cool what we're talking about, but, it, but go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm Emily Davis from Nanahala School, and I'm a junior this year, and um, I'd like to talk to you about the Nanahala Beach. When tourists come to Nanahala, they want to be able to enjoy all the pleasures that Nanahala Lake has to offer. They want to fish, see waterfalls, cruise around on a boat, and swim. Unfortunately, the only safe place to swim these days is located at Lake San Marino, and it's only a small square between the docks. Sure, it's a place to swim, but there isn't enough room for everyone, especially not more than maybe three families. So how do we solve this problem? I'm sure asking for a beach seems a bit extreme, but it's a great idea, and it would provide everyone with a safe place to swim and picnic. We also need to think of the economic gains it could bring to our struggling community. If Nanahala Lake were to offer a public beach access area where people can picnic and swim, it could potentially bring more people to, to our area as well as provide a place for passing through to tourists to stop and relax and hopefully spend more money at our local businesses, which in turn will have a positive effect on our county's <coughs> economy. Lastly, I'm speaking from a personal standpoint when I say that the youth in our area deserve a safe place to spend time together. The kids in the Nanahala area are both benefited and hurt by our isolation. Due to the lack of public businesses and locations, we suffer from a lack of cohesiveness within our community because many of us have to travel to Franklin, Rison City, or Andrews in order to have places to hang out with our friends. We would like to be able to invite people into the Nanahala area if we actually had something to offer them once they got here. I truly believe that having a beach access point on the Nanahala Lake will give, it, <coughs> give people a reason for coming and staying in our community. Once again, thank you for your time and consideration <coughs> of this matter. We appreciate all that you have done and continue to do for your constituents in the Nanahala area. Thank you. Thank you. Tyler Fuller. Um, I'm currently a sophomore at Nantahala High School. Um, as you know, over the past 20 years, the Nantahala community has tried to obtain a safe place where children could spend a summer day without being harassed by local landowners. Now the opportunity presents itself to ask the county for a chance to have our own place to relax in peace. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today so that we can address and correct this problem. As a student of Nanahela High School, I know how tiring it is to spend my day looking for a nice place to swim, camp, or just even relax. Honestly, that's what teenagers look, for, look forward to during summer vacation. But in the past few years, restrictions to the Nanahela Lake have been enforced so fiercely where our point, uh, where our hopes to go swim at the lake next summer have diminished. All I ask is you understand and help re remedy our situation so this, and this will make, mean a great deal to the youth of our community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have any of you kids been cited for swimming? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come up, let's talk about that just a second. Come on Come up. Here. Are you still in, are you in high school? Yeah, I'm a senior. Okay. Go ahead, tell us about your experience about getting cited and what it cost and what was said to you and well, tell us the scenario. When I just got out of the water, so they just told, they just gave me a warning. Where were you? Back. Rocky, 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 Branch. Rocky Branch. Yeah. But they just gave me a warning to not come back. Same thing with you? Do you know people that got cited and had to pay the citation? Yes. Friends? Yeah. Who, who gave you the citations? Uh, nobody gave me citations. Or who, who, who did you push them all out? Uh, I, I wasn't there. Who, who gave, gave you the warning? Who gave oh. you the warning? Who oh, the Forest Service. Wildlife. Yeah. The Forest Ranger, the Forest Ranger vehicle. Mm -hmm. And y'all were both at Rocky Brain? Yes. <clears throat> Is it pretty common that they. I mean, that's where y'all go to swim, right? Mm -hmm. They that road to the dam, correct? <laughs> I don't like going. I don't, no, like very yeah, I don't like you going to the damn either. That's what got me into this thing. <laughs> I really don't like you going over the damn. There's nowhere else to go. I mean, we got lakes in, but it's small. Yeah. So I did tell you, here's your warning. If you come back and put another toy in the lake, we're going to charge you 200 bucks or something. What did he tell you? Uh, he told us that we knew we shouldn't be swimming there, but I wasn't swimming there, so he couldn't really give me anything. I was just wet. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen a lot of legal system you a wonderful thing. I was just wet. I wasn't swimming. That's right. I was just wet. That's kind of I know you didn't say that. I'm just saying that. That is funny. Hey, Colin, you got, you got to put that in the paper. That's, that's, quote, that's quote of the week, okay? <laughs> well, yeah. So, but you do you do know friends that have got oh, real yeah. side patients yeah. that have to pay them side One of my brothers got a new Okay. Well, thank you all. Yeah. I was yeah. going to What's that little store right there that Sally owns? That little store right out from Lake City. Uh, Sally. Lake Lakeside. 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 Lakeside.
start running at that point in time. Don't seem right to me, but that's but that's that's what they would tell you were they here. Another in the rain discussion that we had down on the boat, down on the boat dock. So we are familiar with those, and they will be paid attention to. Now that the license has been issued, I, I'm not going to take up. And Mr. Covers kept asking, you know, what the situation was. Mm -hmm. They could have pushed it. You know, we know that. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that's all I'm saying. You and I both know that it could have been made a priority, and it wasn't. Okay, it's simple as that. I can't say any simpler than that. But uh, what we'd like to do, and I, I just want to assure you, and I, I love to hear the arguments because what makes me feel so good about that is I think I have said every single one of those things that you just told me, I have said that to multiple agencies, okay? And I will continue to say it to multiple agencies, and it feels a whole lot better saying it now than I know I'm not saying it by myself. So. I want to thank you, and we'd like to recognize you. So if all the students, including the ones in the back row that didn't want to speak, come on up, because if you make the trip all the way across the mountain, we got something we want to give you. So come on up. Uh, and while that's happening, we, there are two things that may have already been said. One, uh, Commissioner Bill Mitchell, you guys are a tremendous, uh, uh, put on a tremendous presentation, and also, thank you, thank you very much. and also, uh, Thank you. Every one of us at some time has loved to swim in the lake. I swim I in every lake and river where I'm supposed to, where I'm not supposed to, and I still do it sometimes, I'll admit that. But, but the other thing I'd like to say, if you don't already know it, and uh, I try and tell it like it is, there's no bigger advocate that's worked harder than Commissioner Cubbins. He has uh, been over backwards. He spent a lot of time. He's, he's, he's shaking a lot of trees, and uh, he's really worked hard on your behalf. And uh, there's, I, I can't imagine anything more that he could try and do, and he's continuing to do that. So I just want to let you know he's been carrying the water for you guys. And uh, we believe there's a, a good uh, compromise where there can be safety, the boaters don't have a problem, and there's a place to swim. So uh, I just want to say thank you, Commissioner well, Cuffer, for all the work that you've been doing. Because this, this, is why. this is why we do it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, the teacher or the uh, who's whoever, sponsoring this group? Who, whoever coached this group, they deserve a pin. No, <laughs> come on, y'all come up. Come on. Y'all come on up. Come on.